Hello, Dayton, and welcome to the Retirement Blueprint Show with the founder of the Retirement Blueprint, Tim Lofton. I am your host, Spike Spangle. Tim, how are you doing again this week? I'm, I'm doing great. Summer's here, or it's at least close. The, the weather is good. The markets, not so much. No. We have to talk about market volatility. Uh, the focus of your program here, the Retirement Blueprint, is, of course, helping people not only get to, but stay retired. And as I said, we, we really have to talk about what's going on in the markets. It's unprecedented right now. Uh, we had that 13-year bull run. Looks like it's going away right now. There's a lot of ups and downs. So let me first ask you, how do you feel about roller coasters? Well, I loved roller coasters when I was younger. <laughs> yeah. So the, the interesting thing about roller coasters, and, and the, this just like occurred one time, was with my kids at Kings Island, and I got on the roller coaster, and for the first time in my life, I actually thought about what happens if this thing comes off the rails, right? Yeah. Yeah. Never thought about that before. And I came to the conclusion it was because I didn't have anything to lose. There was, there was no 401k that I wasn't going to get to spend. There was no you know, future that I was worried about. I was a kid and I was having fun. And if you think about it, it's the same for retirees. 30 years ago, they weren't worried about the markets. Mm -hmm. They weren't worried yeah. about the ups and downs and the volatility. Why? Because they didn't need the money. Right. They, they had, you know, it was, it was money we were saving, it was putting away, and we weren't going to need it today. Correct. They had time. And much like my roller coaster experience today, you think about that. If you're retired, you think about when you turn on the news and you see all the craziness that's going on and you go to the gas pump and now it's three times as much as it was a year and a half ago yeah. to fill your gas tank up, yeah. those things have an impact. Those, that volatility has an impact, has an impact psychologically, Spike. It, 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 oh, it's certainly. difficult for people to wrap their, their head around something when they're no longer getting a paycheck each month. Right, right. And just to give some folks some perspective, I'm, I'm sure they're, they're watching out there, they've experienced it. Uh, over the last few months alone, the Dow Jones on one day dropped over 1,200 points. Another day it dropped 900 points. Currently we're holding somewhere at a 20% reduction of what the markets used to be right mm -hmm. now. That can't be comfortable for someone who's going into or who is in the beginning of their own retirement, right? No, and I mean, just since the beginning of this year, Spike, I mean, like you said, we're down about 20% on the Dow, almost 30% on the uh, NASDAQ, and cryptocurrencies, you know, oh. the, the, <laughs> the new non-correlated asset class yeah. that everyone's been flocking to down almost 50%. 50%. Right. And so this is, I, I don't like the word unprecedented. We used to make a joke that at the Wall Street Journal, when somebody published unprecedented in an article, that meant it had never happened since they had been there and they're 25 years old. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, but it is. It, it, it's, it's a time today where we've had so much good time that it's really the first impact. Uh, you know, a lot of people want to think back to COVID, but COVID was pretty short because the government responded, mm -hmm. right? They started pumping money into the markets and all of a sudden things recovered very, very quickly. It was artificial, but it felt good. Today, right. the government is not getting involved. In fact, they're going the opposite direction. They're talking about raising interest rates. They're talking about taking money out of the bond market. They're doing all of these things which historically have proven you know, we're going to push our, our, our economy in the wrong direction. Right. I want to make something very clear for the viewers out there, though, right now. As Tim is talking, he is the founder of the Retirement Blueprint. He's not just a broadcaster here. He's an actual financial advisor who helps people like yourselves here in Dayton make sure that you have a retirement planning strategy in, in place. And one of the things I wanted to ask you about is I keep hearing about the, this bucket strategy, a bucket. What, what, is, what exactly is that, especially when it comes to the retirement blueprint? Sure. So we typically look at uh, a, a three-bucket strategy. And so think about it as, uh, and, and there's other analogies that people use, but, but we typically have that first bucket up here that's listed as kind of our extra bucket. So this is money that is no no intentional need that we're going to need that in the near future. And when I say okay. the near future, I mean the next 10 years. Uh, the second bucket is typically what we look at for income. 
And so that income bucket is designed to do just that. The third bucket we typically look at is uh, long-term care funding in the event that we go into a nursing home or something along those lines. And that is kind of that three-bucket strategy. The idea behind it is different than a lot of times what people think about in pre-retirement, which is investing in, say, asset allocation. They're going to you know, divvy their dollars up into, into different types of investments in different places. This is giving your money a job. And it's very important as a retiree to take that type of approach versus that more traditional methodology of, of just kind of invest it and forget it. Right, right. So um, those three buckets, so that first one right now that we're using probably to pay our monthly bills and so forth, mm -hmm. that, that's taking quite a hit right now. But what you're saying is that what we've saved for retirement doesn't all need to be in one of the same places, that we can have something that's for five years and 10 years and 20 years down the road. That becomes a little bit more complicated for regular consumers out there. Again, you're a financial advisor, so do you walk people on the steps of how to do this on their own, or do you help people implement the strategy? No, it, it all starts with a plan. I mean, it, that's what the show is about. That's what the retirement blueprint was created for, was to give people a plan. It was to understand what their needs were and to use a systematic process that's been proven over the last 30 years to take where they are and help them navigate to and through retirement. But Spike, I don't want you to get this confused as an event. This is not an event. This isn't something that you get this retirement blueprint and you're, you're all set. This is, set it and forget it is, is a horrible strategy because it doesn't work that way. Yeah. Life changes, families change, the government changes the rules. So the idea that we can just kind of put our dollars to work and you know, go off into the sunset is, is just not a thing. Right, right. So I'm going to have to take a very quick commercial break. Okay. I know that you can help people with this retirement blueprint process. Mm -hmm. For those who call into the program, I understand you have a, a complimentary offer for them as well. We do. So for the viewers at home, the times are unprecedented. Uh, we, we see inflation, we see risk, we see volatility. Uh, we get calls every day from the show where people have seen their 401k statements drop dramatically, 15, 20% plus. If this is you, if you're in that situation and you don't know what to do, you don't know where to turn, give us a call. We're here to help. We want to listen. We want to understand. And more importantly, we want to give you a solution to you having the retirement that you've always dreamed of. Folks, please take advantage of this offer by calling the phone number you see right here, 855-684-3485. Get started on your own retirement blueprint. It is complimentary, but as you can imagine, Tim's schedule fills up very quickly. So call this phone number as soon as you can, 855-684-3485. We will continue to talk about retirement and the volatile markets when we get back right after this break. Hi, I'm Tim Lofton, and for 27 years, we've been helping people just like you navigate to and through retirement with our trademark process, the Retirement Blueprint. Many of our clients are extremely concerned today with the increasing federal debt and a potential for a significant increase in taxes. If you share these or other retirement concerns, give us a call today for a no obligation complimentary consultation. Let us plan your tomorrow today. When was the last time you saw your financial professional? Are you getting the most out of the strategy that was created for you? Although you've done a great job finding someone to help plan for your future, are you 100% sure that you were given the right strategy? We can help answer these questions and more with a complimentary second opinion evaluation. We will take a look at what you have in place and then help determine if you're well positioned to get the most out of your future retirement income. In the event that it is not, we can help by making suggestions and showing you how to get on the right path. You wouldn't get just one opinion when it comes to a major health decision, so why would you treat your most important financial decision with such disregard? Call today for your no-cost, no-obligation, second-opinion evaluation to see if you're getting the most out of your retirement income plan. 
Thank you so much for coming back to the Retirement Blueprint with Tim Lofton. He's actually the founder of the Retirement Blueprint. And we're talking right now not only about the market volatility, but how retiring today seems to be completely different than it was 10, 20, especially 30 years ago. Why, why has the landscape of retirement changed so much over the last few years? Well, I, Spike, I think we know more. Um, you know, today, the advice is so much better than it was. I mean, much like medicine or anything else. I mean, yeah. we learn as we go. Um, the biggest difference is, and, and the thing that we see for folks coming in the office today from the show, is that they're still doing the things today that they were doing 20 years ago. Their, their plan is still the same. They have a, an approach of you know, asset allocation and you know, diversification and you know, they've had reports run you know, like a Monte Carlo simulation that says you know, if you take out this amount of money over this amount of time, everything's gonna be fine. The, the thing that doesn't work with that is that, let me, let's talk about 2008. Okay. All right, 2008. So you, you get your statement and it, it's down 20%. And so your $2 million portfolio has now lost $400,000. And your advisor calls and says, Spike, you're lucky. You know why you're lucky? Because of the asset allocation strategy that we used, instead of being down 45%, you're only down 20. And aren't you excited about that? It's like, no, I just lost no. a whole house of a haircut from no. my savings. And why? Why are you completely freaked out about that decline? Well, if I'm getting closer to retirement, I don't know how to make that back up or when I'm going to be able to make that back up. Think about if you're in retirement, Spike, oh. and you're actually having to take yeah. income from this account that's now down 20%. And so that's the problem. You know, we talk about that three bucket, uh, you know, just before mm -hmm. commercial break. The, the whole idea here is, is that the bucket that is designed to produce income cannot have volatility attached to it. Its job is to give you income, not to grow. That's the extra bucket. Okay. Right? Right. So income is the key. So if I have to have lifetime income, the one thing I can't have associated with my lifetime income is the potential for a 20, 30, 40% loss. And that's what we're seeing today. Right, right. So I, I, I gotta ask then, does a retiree need to be somewhat in the markets or, or, or completely out of the markets? I mean, it definitely sounds like that first bucket, mm -hmm. not in the markets because we need right. to protect it. So is, is that further out money still being invested or do we even find more conservative ways to save into those buckets? And that's a, that's a great question. And I think, you know, traditionally uh, when we talk to folks, we hear them say something like, you know, because I'm 65 or because I'm 70 or because I'm 75, you know, I shouldn't be in the market. Uh, right. But here's, here's the thing, Spike. The average life expectancy for a married couple is 94. So if I'm 64, that gives me 30 years of growth, right? Mm -hmm. The key is, is that only the growth is ha gonna happen with the right money. The job for growth is that extra bucket. That's the money that doesn't have to produce income. And it's fine for you to put those dollars into something that's gonna go up and down because you do have time, even if you're 65 or 70 years old. I think the, the, the thing that, that often gets confusing for folks is they're so used to kind of having everything in one pot and just kind of dividing it up. And exactly. that's... I think, I think a lot of retirement, people like myself, I look at the different accounts and I kind of add it all up and I've got my own notes pages and I go, oh, that's, you know, that's how much I have and not realizing that, that it doesn't all have to be in the same place. Exactly. When you give it jobs, the jobs define how those dollars are going to be invested, what they're going to be invested in, and by definition, it will tell you the amount of risk. Now, right. you get to control that risk, right? Even in the extra bucket, you get to decide how much volatility I can handle. We use that risk alized program we've talked about you know, for a couple years on the show. Mm -hmm. uh, won the Nobel Prize for Economics. They know what they're doing. Uh, so that's very helpful as a tool. The other thing to consider is what's the purpose of the money? So we had a, 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 a client, she was 
early 80s, 81, 82 years old, and the money that she had, she sold some real estate, and that money was all to go to her kids and grandkids. So would it make sense for us to invest those dollars for our wealth management team to put those in an allocation for her age or for who's actually going to get the money? Hmm. So a lot of times the purpose can define the amount of risk that we're going to take, right. as well as the job that the money has. Both of those kind of work hand in hand. Right. So I've got a harder question for you here, I think. How do you provide the consistent income for folks in this kind of volatility? And right now, that volatility, unfortunately, is downside volatility. Everybody likes the upside volatility. Right. That's good, right? Where We've got gains. But with this downside volatility, how are you providing consistent income for folks who are in retirement? Well, the, the, first, the first step is that there shouldn't have been any volatility in the dollars that were to provide income in the first place. Okay. So the answer is for our existing clients, there is no worries because those dollars haven't gone down in value because they can't. Uh, they're allocated in a way that doesn't have downside risk to the market. And so that's, that's the first part of that answer. The, the second thing is, is, is understanding what the income need is. And so, uh, you know, when we look at the idea of an income plan, and that's one of the five cornerstones of retirement planning, part of the retirement blueprint, is developing an income plan. And the income plan is, the first part of that is understanding how much is going to be coming in from Social Security, how much is going to be coming in from pensions. That gives us guaranteed income, right? And so that's the first step. And then how much income do we need and what's the delta? What's the difference? So if they need 40,000 of income and they've got 30 coming in from Social Security and pension, we have $10,000 that we have to create from the investment hmm. part. That allows us to then back into the amount of money that has to be put to work to produce that income. And then again, making sure we're putting that into something that does not have volatility attached to it. A lot of times we'll look at an annuity, for example, as a solution to that guaranteed income. Right. And, you know, that word, you know, it... You just open up a can of worms. Right, it does. You've got to go to commercial, does, but you, you know, open up a can of worms there. <laughs> well, let's, let's go to commercial, and we'll talk okay. about that when we get back, because I think I, maybe we can, you know, rip the Band-Aid off of that right, one a little right. bit. Right, right. I love that. If you would like to hear more about the annuity solution, is it for you, is it not for you? It all depends on your situation. But first, make sure you call and get your own retirement blueprint started. It's going to take a look at your investments, your taxes, your retirement planning strategy, and what kind of solutions do you need for a consistent income through retirement. It is complimentary here, Dayton, but you need to reach out to Tim right here, 855-684-3485. More with the Retirement Blueprint Show when we get back right after this. Unexpected events, like a global pandemic, can turn our world upside down overnight. They can cause volatile shifts that may cause you to question the confidence in your current retirement plan. As a retiree or a pre-retiree, knowing you have a plan that can withstand the worst economic conditions is vital. Contact us today for a complimentary review. Get a second opinion and learn more about our trademark process the Retirement Blueprint. Let us plan your tomorrow today. As a good saver, you've been putting away money during your working years. Studies find that the biggest fear of retirees is running out of money. Market volatility isn't just the downward movement of stock prices, it's the size and frequency of change. The more dramatic the ups and downs, the higher the volatility. This can put savers who are newly retired or a few years away from being retired at greater risk. Today's generation of retirees is not receiving traditional pensions as our parents or grandparents did. Instead, we have retirement accounts such as 401ks or 403bs. These accounts typically expose your money to market risk. The last thing you want right before retirement is to lose a portion of the money you need for income. But how do you turn these accounts into a retirement income? Is it safe to keep all your retirement money sitting in the stock market? The last thing you want is to lose a portion of the money you need for income due to market loss. 
By working with a financial professional, you can learn how to turn a portion of your savings into an income stream for life and income for the life of your spouse if you're married. We all have moments in our lives when we wish we had taken action sooner. Don't let procrastination rain on your retirement parade. Act now before it's too late. Please call our office to set up your no-cost, no-obligation retirement income review today. Thank you so much for coming back to the Retirement Blueprint Show with Tim Lofter, the founder of the Retirement Blueprint. Tim, you did it. You opened up the can of worms beforehand and started talking about annuities. First of all, is this a solution for everyone? And second of all, why, why is there sometimes such a knee-jerk reaction to even hearing the word annuity? Wow, that, that's a loaded question. I'm sorry, I, I just right? threw you a lot. Um, the, the problem with, with annuities is that your question of is this the right thing for everyone is no. No, it's not for everyone. No investment is right for everyone. But here's what I know. There's $50 billion a quarter going into annuities. They're right for somebody. Right. <laughs> and, and why is that? Why? Why is there such an inflow of dollars into to annuities today? Because there's seven people every minute of every day turning 65. Mm. That's why there's never been a need in history like today for guaranteed income. Now, the problem is and to your second question, why, why do people be like, oh my gosh, like, I don't want that thing. That, that sounds horrible. I've read, you know, we did I've a show. I've read this. I've heard yeah. this. I, you know, I, I, I around the water cooler or read this on the website somewhere. Right. You, can, you can Google your way to bad advice, right? We've talked about that in, in, in shows in the past where, you know, whatever you put in for search criteria, understand you are clickbait. Right. And so you put in annuities, bad stuff's going to come back because they want you to click on it because it's the largest held investment on the planet. So it, it only makes it only makes sense. Yeah. However, there's bad actors out there. There's bad companies out there. There's bad advice out there. And I could say that with literally any investment. It doesn't have anything to do with annuities or life insurance mm -hmm. or mutual funds or stocks, bonds. That's always going to exist. But there is great solutions. And the thing that, that I find where, where clients really like the solution is I put in this amount of money and I'm going to get lifetime income forever no matter what. That's, that's the stop and start of the solution. I need income. This will give it to me. Now, with every good thing, there's a bad thing. And, and, and I think, you know, for our viewers at home, you know, what's, what's the downside of doing that? The downside is, is that a lot of times there's no inflation protection there. So if I'm getting $30,000 for my annuity and lifetime income today, 20 years from now, I'm still going to be getting $30,000 of income. And cost of living is going to have right. doubled. So it, it doesn't fix all of our problems, but it is a great solution for income if you get the right product from the right company and the right advice. But it all starts with the plan. Right, right. So incorporating all of this into the conversation, the retirement blueprint, I know uh, it's an extensive look at, at many different things. But tell me a little bit about your firm here in, mm -hmm. in Dayton. So it isn't just about talking about annuities with folks. You help them with all kinds of long-term sure. planning, their health planning, and also investment management and, and getting through all of those things, right? Right. So we have, we have a team, um, and this is, again, the Retirement Blueprint was created because of years spent at the big box firms and seeing the word holistic planning thrown around out there like, like that that's what, what they did when they didn't. Yeah. Um, and so as a retiree, and we, and we really only work with retirees, the idea is that you're going to have an income plan. That's kind of the, the start of it. The income plan is not just about how do we create income, but it's about what happens when things go wrong. What happens with the death of a spouse and I lose half of my pension and, and half of my social security income because they're no longer with me? What happens if I go into a long-term care situation and all of a sudden mm -hmm. I've got to come up with seven, eight, nine, ten thousand dollars a month to pay for long-term care? What happens if According to Social Security's website in 2030, whatever, 
that I only get 70% of my Social Security. Where's that extra income going to come from? And the big one, inflation. How am I going to double my income every 20 years to keep even? So that's the income plan. The next step is we have to look at is, is the tax plan. We have to look through what the advice that we are giving through a tax microscope, and we have a CPA that specializes in that. Oh, well, that, so that's something that's, that's quite unique. I've, I've talked to financial advisors around the country, mm -hmm. and it, tax planning is part of the conversation, mm -hmm. but they usually say, well, then you need to go see your CPA or someone who can help them with it, and you have that in-house? Correct, as well as our estate plan. So estate planning, and we've talked about this a lot on the show, uh, estate planning is not just an event just like our planning is not an event, right? It's not just a set of documents that you get. And so we have an estate planning attorney in our office that specializes in estate planning. That's all she does. And then, so those are kind of those, the, the first three of the retirement blueprint. Then we look at the healthcare piece, uh, social security claiming strategy, uh, Medicare, and then lastly, uh, you know, we have to look obviously at the wealth management piece and we have a wealth management team that does a phenomenal job and has negotiated these markets extremely well. Wow. So that is what it sounds like to me, it, the complete retirement blueprint. Mm -hmm. it, it's a lot of different pieces in there. And I would imagine for a lot of folks out there who don't do this all the time, it's probably pretty difficult to do on their own. You do this in the offices every single day, and this is exactly what you want to do for your other fellow citizens right here in Dayton. So please tell them, if they call the phone number on the screen, how you can help them implement this retirement blueprint. Dayton, all you have to do is pick up the phone and call. Come and sit down with us. It's complimentary. You're going to bring us a box of puzzle pieces. And you're going to tell us what type of picture you want your retirement to look like. Our job is to put those puzzle pieces together. And we've been putting those puzzle pieces together for 30 years. We've got a team in place to make sure that you end up with the retirement plan that you've always dreamed of. But it starts with a phone call. It, 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 we can't help if we don't know. Right, right. Well, thank you so much for today's program. We talked a little bit, folks, about volatility in the markets. We talked a little bit about annuities. And I think one of the toughest things is that when you don't understand what's going to happen next, that fear, that uncertainty, it can be overwhelming and keep you up at night. And I think part of what Tim wants to do is to make sure that you can sleep well at night. Call for your own complimentary retirement blueprint, Dayton. We've got to know that you need help. 855-684-3485. Thank you for joining Tim Lofton. We'll be back again next week with more of the Retirement Blueprint Show.